going on. I just talk really loud, <laughs> really loud with an echo and no makeup. so you can at least see what's going on. At least you could be able to see. <laughs> All right, let's have some wine. I really need it. Let's go. Let's go with this wine. <laughs> We're going to do a wine bottle. I should just set this here and say, this is it. I'm done. See how realistic I could be? <laughs> All right. So this is going to be a wine bottle. Now, this is what we want to do. Get your paints out, get your purple out, get whatever you have out because I'm, I might scruff up the background a little bit. What we're gonna end up doing is adding this to um, our beach painting at some point. We're gonna be adding in the foreground of our beach painting, we're gonna add a, a little uh, a little uh, still life on the, on the bottom here. Now I thought mine was the only one, the first ever person to ever think of doing that and then I happened to see somebody's playlist, something pop up, and I was like, ooh, been done before. <laughs> but I did not copy, honest. Oh, trying to be original up in here. <laughs> All right. So this is my straight edge, in case you're wondering what this thing is right here. And then my chalk. So what we're going to do is we're, we're not going to make the whole thing straight, but we just want a little bit of a, um, we just want a little bit, I think I'll go off to this side a little bit more. I don't like putting stuff dead in the middle, but um, we're just going to make some little guidelines, okay? So you could use your triangle, I don't know what I did with mine, but you could use your triangle, you could use a ruler, you could use whatever you want to use, okay? And then we're just going to just make some guidelines right here. So I'm just going to, let's see, where do I want my bottle? I want my bottle. I need my top part of my bottle. So I'll say, this is a 9 by 12. Uh, what is this? This is a 11 by 14. So I'm just going to go, um, not to the top top, but I'm going to go from... Uh, say about here, about, let's see, one, two, three inches from the top, and I'm just going to make a line here, okay, I'm going to have the neck of the bottle, so I'm going to go about, ooh, can you tell I'm just not looking at this, I'm going to go about two, uh, ooh, I forgot I want the cork so I'm gonna go about I'm gonna move this over because I want the cork so I'm gonna go up here and do the cork I'm gonna come out a little bit down here from the cork so the corks about two inches and then down here from where the cork was I'm gonna skip about an inch okay skip about an inch and go to the left a little more and then I'm going to come down, I'm going to come down to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, mm, I'm going to come down one, two, three, four, five, six. So you see what I did? I made the cork, I made a little diagonal with my chalk down to an inch over an inch over and then I came down one two three four five six uh, six inches now let me see if you guys followed that I hope you can hear me here and I'm gonna go diagonally oh. 
I'm going to go diagonally down my one inch. Oh, you know what I'm trying to do. All right. And then I'm going to go straight down. So I'm going to put this microphone down a second. Can they hear me? You hear an echo because George is testing. Okay. So what I did was I did my diagonal line, and then all I did was round it on both sides. See how I just rounded it on both sides? Now, if anybody's painting and they want to see what in the world did I do, I can go over it real quick. So what I did was I made the neck of the bottle, I made it more narrow and did not put it in the center center of the painting because that's like a turnoff. Then what I did was I went one inch over um, to the left and I came one inch down and I drew a line. And then on the other side, and, and then I connected it with a diagonal. On the other side, I went one inch over, one inch down, and I drew a line. Then I drew a diagonal line to connect it. Then what I did was I took off my diagonal line and I rounded it up a little bit, rounded it up. And that's it. So that's how I did that bottle. And I lost my chalk. And so on the bottom, don't worry about the bottom. Just, just make a line connecting the two. And then round that, round that bottom corner just a little bit. Just a little bit. So it's not like a, 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 a sharp edge. All right. So round the corner a little bit. And there's your bottom. Now on the top, you just put, I, I like to make slight, a slight, slight curve at the top. Slight, slight curve. And see, I made my, um, eh. Let's, let's make, I'm going to make that a cork. So I'm going to come down just a little bit. That top part's a cork. So I'm going to come down a little bit and then make my little thing. And then I just made it stick out a little bit on the sides. You guys see what I did here? <laughs> Leanne, <laughs> you need to paint. <laughs> okay. So, so let's see. All right, so that, that, that's kind of like that was fast, right? The fun part about this is the label. <laughs> so on the label, I, I like a slight curve still because that kind of gives the bottle a, 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 what do you call it? It gives it roundness. So just a very, very slight curve. Not a lot, just a very, very slight curve on that bottle. I hope you guys have chalk. Ooh, I, did I put chalk? Yeah, I put chalk in the thing. All right, so there's my label. And we could play with that label. Like we could take a little skinny brush, a little skinny round brush when we're done painting it. So I dropped it. We could take a little skinny brush when we're done painting it. And I'm going to put like a um, green, green, you know, um, and then I'm going to put le leaves because that's my last name. So you could put your name in here. You could do whatever you want in there because it's a label. And that's what I like about books and labels and boats and things that you could sneak your name in just for the fun of it and personalize it. So that's the start of it, guys. So I'm going to look and see what you all have. Why does it look wonky on the um, video? It must be how I have my, I don't know. But it doesn't look so wonky. <laughs> I like that wonky word because it's kind of a British thing that I stole from you guys in the UK. Okay. I do have like a lazy eye kind of thing. So anyway, don't make yours wonky. Okay. Just a slight curve on the wine bottle. All right, now I'm going to look and see what you guys are saying. Because ah, that's my fun part. Okay. Yellow ochre till tonight. Yeah, yeah, I said it, I said it. Okay, let me see. Let me see what I miss. I miss you guys making fun of me, I'm sure. <laughs> 
Okay, wait, let me switch over. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know why I'm having fun. I always have fun with you guys, but, like, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a hot mess today. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> I have to show myself with no makeup. Oh, not even a lipstick. Honey, give me my lipstick. This is too terrible. <laughs> I don't know. It's in my purse. Fish around. All right. <laughs> All right. Enough about me. Oh, wait. Oh, boy. Let me see here. Let me see what you guys have to say. All right. I hear you, Angela. So do I. LOL. <laughs> echo <laughs> it was on the event reminder oh yeah yeah see yes we can hear you get your dolly boy in the job of holding the mic <laughs> that's a great idea george is kicked back in the chair you know we teased george i don't know if you guys know that sloth commercial <laughs> but you know the commercial where the sloth is drawing that um that uh, picture, uh, what do you call that game? But anyway, that game where you draw the picture and everybody has to guess. <laughs> well, we teased George, all of us in my circle, in our circle, we teased George and we call him that sloth. So now anytime there's one of those GIFs, those GIF video thingies, um, that's a different one, I send it to him on his phone. <laughs> So now you get a little bit of George's personality. <laughs> but he loves it. He laughs. So we're good. All right. So let's uh, let, let's start putting your paint down for your uh, bottle. And I'd like to uh, maybe make a greenish color. So you could use some... Um, you could use some um, blue and some, I didn't put that in there. I forgot about the bottle part. I was so busy thinking about the wine glass. I was ahead of myself. So you could put some blue, some kind of blue and some kind of yellow in there. And let's make the, uh, paint the bottle. Okay, I'm going to put the mic down so we could do that. And I'm going to switch back over. Everybody saying hi, George. Tina said hi, George. Hey. Um, Danielle's laughing. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to switch over, guys, so we can finish. I hope you took a break. I hope you did a potty break and got your coffee on and stuff. Where's my coffee? Okay, hang on. Pictionary. Yes, that's it. Leanne. Leanne's my Google. We, we could Google Leanne. for. Um... <laughs> oh, if you have a question, Google Leanne. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch over. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're back to that. I know I don't have my picture in here of me, but that's good because <laughs> poor George, Leanne. That's another running joke over the years of me being a nurse. Um, when I my one of my not my first job, my first job in Pennsylvania. Um, I heard poor George so many times from my peers that I said there's a poor George club. And the sad part about it is most of the members of the club have never met George. They just met me. So what's that mean? <laughs> so anyways, I like the angle brush because uh, I don't see any. I might have to send your poor George to the kitchen where I washed them out. I think, could you grab those brushes for me? I like to use an angle brush because to me the angle brush does half the work for me. And um, so when I have lines and stuff like that, uh, the angle brush has that little edge to it that seems to work well with your hand when you're painting. And those flat square brushes, they tend to go over the edge when you don't want it to. So, um, so if you have an angle brush, I would use the angle brush. I'm going to put some blue down here um, on the palette. So I'm going to switch over to the palette real quick. Okay. 
I'm going to put my microphone down. Oh. I switched over to the palette, but I didn't switch it where you could see it. Wait, hang on. Okay. Put some blue down here. That was phalo blue. All right. I'm going to put some um, yellow on here. Put some yellow. And we'll see what we get. I know it's not going to be the right kind of green, but. I'm going to be adding to it. I'm going to put some phalo blue and some cad yellow. All right. Oh, boy. All right. So we're going to paint this bottle. That's good enough. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Can I bring it close? Yeah, there you go. Just bring it to the light. Oh. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay. See the um, see the angle brush. This is for the beginner beginners. I just want to show you what it looks like. It's in. It's a slant there, and this is what I use for projects like this because it just is easier to stay in the lines to make a long story short. So I'm going to dip into my paint and start painting this bottle. The colors are not that mixed together. They're a little smooshed together, but there's a little variation, which I think adds interest to a painting. So I'm gonna start painting the bottle. All right, you can wet your brush. gonna start getting it, the lip of it's gonna start getting flatter and flatter and flatter.
Okay, so you see how um, when you paint, use your paint strokes, use it in a way that goes with what you're painting. So if you're painting something round and curved, paint, use your brush like you're painting a bottle. That's the best way I could explain it. Um, I paint in a way that I'm painting what I, what I see. I see a bottle here in my head. So I am painting in a curved way because my bottle's curved. And then I get this curved part here, get this curved part, ah! that's a mistake, get this curved part here, and then there you go, there's the bottle. And I gotta hurry up and wipe my mistake. I used a wet uh, a squeeze. I dipped my paper towel in my paint water and squeezed it. And then, while it's still wet, like within seconds, well, less than seconds, you have to hurry up and swipe your your mistake out. If you don't do it like really like immediately, you won't be able to get rid of your mistake that fast. Okay. And I'm just gonna just going to straighten this up just a little bit okay okay my hands are a little hungry uh, hungry shaky but that that's kind of how that is okay so I'm gonna let that dry and then we need the cork color so I am go I'm going to add a little something for the cork color Let's see, I think I'll add a little bit of um, white and brown, like burnt umber or something. So I'll give you a minute to do that. But we could take a little quick break and let people catch up. When it's completely dry, I'll, walk, I'll wipe away the chalk. My name is Angie Green, and I have a Facebook group, Painting with Fibromyalgia. In order to join that group, you have to have chronic pain of some kind. If you just like painting with us and having fun and chatting and goofing off like we're doing today, you don't have to have pain. Um, but you can enjoy us and enjoy, enjoy painting with us and enjoy chatting and all of that. I don't discriminate on YouTube, and that was the shortened version. Um, also, like, share, subscribe, and if you watch any of the videos on here, please let it run all the way through. It helps me, and it supports small channels to do that. Okay, thanks. All right, back to painting. Okay, I don't know. Sometimes I think the mic's working, sometimes it's not. Okay. Still a little tacky. Okay, I'm going to work on the cork. Well, yes, but I can hear you all the time. Really? Yeah. Okay, so the, the microphone must have kicked in. Good grief. You know this tech stuff, it's a, it's a pain in the batutski. Okay, let's see. Oh, the cork. Uh oh. Rot roll. If you have titanium white and some burnt umber and mostly titanium white, I would suggest you use that combo and just make it very light, light tan. I can't find my titanium white right now. I do have my unbleached titanium, which I think is going to be a perfect color, so I'm going to use that for my cork. And 
I, I might add a little something something to it. Anything to darken it up just a wee bit. Alright, where is my... Did they need my brushes? What did I do with them? Oh, here they are. All right, I'm gonna use an angle brush for that. I'm gonna rinse my other brush off. I'm gonna just use a clean, uh, clean angle brush for the cork. box behind me I just threw all of my paint in that box did you um yeah did you grab the could you grab that box for me Yeah, or you could grab a uh, brown out of it, burnt umber, it's a big tube, it's a really big tube. I don't like how this turned out. I'm going to use some of that green um, with the white, but I have unbleached titanium white. If you have that, it really turns it turns a lot of things in a, into a really pretty color. But I'm going to use a pale, 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 pale green for the label, okay? And I'm going to fix my cork. I just wanted to darken it so it could show up, but I'm going to um, make it tan too. I couldn't grab I couldn't find my white to grab it I don't know I dropped it or something and I saw my um, unbleached titanium it's unbleached titanium that I'm using as the base however you could use white as the base but if you have unbleached titanium it's awesome as the base and then just mix a little of that green into it just a tiny touch of that green into it At your command. Hang on. Hey, Jennifer. That's okay, Jennifer. Um, this is, uh, you can, I'm going to leave it up for you. Okay, yay. And do you have um, zinc white? Anybody have zinc? Everybody have zinc white? Mm. I'm going to get my zinc white out and work on that reflection of the bottle. So if you have zinc white out, that would be great. This is 
going to fall. I wonder if you'll see it over here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you see how that bottle doesn't look dark green everywhere? It has a whole side of it that is, um, this is a mirror reflection, so it's kind of weird. But on my side, in real life, it is on the right side of the bottle. So um, if you have a light reflecting on one side of your bottle, you want to show that in your, um, in your painting because glass always has the reflection of light in it. And you could even use more than one color if you want to, but um, we're just going to, I'm going to use a lighter. I'm going to lighten up this green a little bit. So you could use, um, you could use some, uh, uh, what do you call it, zinc white to do that, or you could use a lighter green to do that. All right. type in there hi you could type in there hi Jennifer and you can type in there who was that that jump, jumped in here hi um Ms. Vision <laughs> hi thanks for joining us you can just hang out for a little while if you want to no obligation but I'm very happy you, you jumped on to say hello. Let us know you were here. Let me switch back. I have my real bottle here. I have my real bottle here to give everyone an idea of what glass looks like, a colored glass. And that's what a wine bottle is. So I'm just going to lighten up my wine bottle on the side where the light is hitting it with a light, very, very light of the same green. So I'm going to lighten up my green. You could just use plain uh, zinc white if you want to, but I, I like uh, the glass to show a true reflection. So you could use uh, titanium white and, um, and uh, the, the darker green, a touch of it, the darker green that we have in the painting. And... Um, uh, lighten that bottle up all the way down and so you could watch me as I do that um, and then a little bit of the just plain white a starker white uh, looks good in it too a splash of that because that lets everyone know it's glass all right so I'm going to do that now
it's really simple. I said, I guess I can do this. Or I don't know. I'm, I'll either write or either uh, do the demo. And I said, well, I don't know. I mean, it's too late. I said, I said, I said well, let me try it. really, really fast because I got a boo-boo to take care of. is not cooperating. Mm. Oh. My head all in the way. Anything to do with it? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Atlanta said something like that too. I don't know why she couldn't get through the way. Isn't that weird? Okay. Uh oh. Ruh row. I got one thing to take care of. Okay. All right. What do you think, guys? Well, Tammy says good hat. And then when that dries, I'm going to put my do my little thing and put my little green vineyard or whatever on there. Uh, let me see if I could see if I could. Uh, this is going to be scary, but I'm going to see if I could bring it up closer for you. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to see if I could bring that up closer for you. Uh, not my palette, but my, I know you're looking at the palette, but I'm going to try to bring the, uh, the canvas up closer to you. Just a second. I got to play with it. Sherry, hi Sherry. All right, I brought it a little closer for you. And um, when this dries, because I have some parts that's still wet on there, like where I went over the label, when that dries, I'm going to take all the chalk off. But I don't want to mess with that now. But you see the reflection? So I took a lighter, a very light green, and lightly brushed down um, in a straight line. I br lightly brushed down. I skipped the label. And then I took the, the, um, the lighter. I lightened up the, uh, the color that I used, the light green, and met, went more toward white. And then did a little uh, scrumbling, a little 
couple spots a tiny spot up here and a bigger spot right here to make it look like a strong reflection like there's a light shining on it from somewhere and if you notice that's what same thing is happening on the bottle same thing you see that spot of light from the ceiling light and that's that's shining on the bottle so you want to do that same thing so whatever you see in real life you want to do the same thing um in your your painting just in general and some of you know that already. Um, it's just a little tip that I try to uh, put myself into the painting. Like, what's it really look like? Not what it looks like in our heads, but what it, what it looks like um, if we were actually looking at it. All right. So I'm going to... That's still tacky. You like it? My... Um, my label is still tacky. As you can see, I have green paint on my finger, so I can't mess with it now. Um, what time is it? It's 8.05. Do you want me to just end it here and then just finish it up with the video? Let me go to transition to, to, my, to my face. Let me see. Well, that's not my face. Well, it feels like that's my face. Well, hang on. What in the world? Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, me and my trusty mic and trying to do things one-handed and, and, and multitask and all that. Oh, I feel like I burnt some calories. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this up and just design it. Um, and then put it in one video like we talked about before because that hour is up. So I'm just going to do my thing and I'm going to put some leaves on here and like some squiggly lines and then maybe put green vineyards or whatever. Put something on there. Um, just decorate it and make it your own. This is where your like little uh abstract stuff could come in you could also do the background you can do some mixes and blends in the background so maybe i'll do that for you in the um in the uh, video but this is what we're going to try to put on our sunset painting all right we're going to do that um, the next one's going to be wine glasses a wine glass and then the next one's going to be grapes and if we had keep if you keep the same size small canvases and do each one with the same similar background and the same size painting then you can have like a set which is awesome you know that'd be an awesome gift or something you could put in your kitchen or something that could sell as a as a set if you want to sell them so um, I think it'd be a cute idea, but what we're going to do is we get the skills now and then we're going to incorporate them into a still life section in the foreground of our sunset painting. Okay, so I'm going to switch over so I can see you guys because you can see me, but I can't see what you're saying. You have questions. George has been pretty good about telling me if you have questions and who joined me. Okay, guys, I, um, those that had just joined me for the first time, um, you get to see me with no makeup. That's very, very rare. <laughs> but, hey, you know, sometimes you just got to be real. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. What do I have to catch up on? Um... Okay. Going back to work on your two liter bottle. I think it's a two liter.